actually, but ye brethren, because it's to the Akim, are are not in darkness that 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 day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of light, and the children of the day, where where we are not of of the night nor nor of darkness. That's right. See what some of those things being of that light. We're gonna see. Um, go ahead. We're gonna go into this chapter and we can get get some of those things because a lot of brothers out here, you really gotta really listen. We are gonna listen to the words of Yahweh Shai and what he says. You know, because we gotta understand the script. Yahweh Shai himself said, "This is not my doctrine." So what he said. That it, 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 it was uh, it was official. It was made official through Yahweh. All right. He's, yeah, yeah. You speak that. You say that. No, I don't say that. No, I'll teach him this. Oh, they, that was the law. Well, let have him do this now. This, you know, he 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 was the one that set the set the uh, bar. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. This is Matthew chapter five, starting from verse one. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, the disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth. And taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Right? Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. That's right. Those that mourn now, everybody's not mourning. Everybody doesn't have a 401k. Everybody doesn't have a retirement plan. Everybody doesn't know if they're going to have their lights on next week. You know? Go ahead, huh? Blessed are the meat, for they shall inherit the earth. Right. Those, 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 those low people. You know, these people, why, why are they going to inherit the earth? Because our forefather, uh, uh, David, said that the Lord requires a humble and contrite spirit. So as long as, long as you stay like that, then, then there's, a, there's, very well a, there's very well the chance that you could achieve the, uh, the, 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 the uh, kingdom of heaven, if it be his will, you know, and you, and you do your best and strive, and it's true. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, but they shall be filled. Right, see you got a lot of brothers come in, and when you come in, you're gonna go off. That's anybody, you gonna go off. But guess what we doing, read it again. Blessed are they, looking for that, the hunger okay. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. That's right, see, why are you gonna be filled? Through trial and error. Because you hungry and you thirst for righteousness, you're gonna go overboard sometimes. You're gonna go overstep. But it's a lesson for you to figure out in the, in the latter end. Alright, to grow. Alright? The uh the scriptures say uh living, you gotta be living water, you gotta flow with it, and you gotta grow. You can't be trying to stay one way in this truth and thinking that's good. You gotta you gotta grow. Meaning not only in, I, oh, I know this scripture, I know this breakdown, no, you gotta grow in how you treat people too. Not only your nation, because you supposed to be the light. Go ahead, I. If I can make a point to said in there that you have the uh, blessed are those that are hung that hunger and righteousness. You know, not blessed are all the little hungry, because you have a lot of hungry people out here, but they're all uh, dwelled into wickedness. You know, a hungry uh, bum off the street. If you give him some money, he'll go get some crack with it. You know, that's why I said blessed are they that hunger for righteousness. Continue on, verse seven. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Whoa. Whoa, this is a cut to all brothers. This is a cut to me. All this whole chapter, matter of fact, is a cut to all, all everybody who's an Israel, Israelite. All camps, all elders, us, everybody. This whole Matthew chapter 5 is a cut to everybody who call themselves serving the most high Yahweh by Shem Shah. And if it's not, then you then pretty much you're not humble. And you're not of a contrite spirit. Because you're going off somewhere. Go ahead, I. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Right, because re re regardless of you going off and stuff, you still distort, the, the Lord knows your heart, right? Ain't that what they say? So he knows your heart. He know you go overboard and you might overstep things, but he still going, he know that you read, read it again. Blessed are the pure in heart. He know you pure in heart. Go ahead. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children the, the most high power. That's right. The, the, the prophet apocrypha talk about uh, being with a man that, that strives and try to, you know, yeah. I think it's Proverbs who's always trying to fight and rowdy and shit all the time. Fucking with people on the street. Read that again. Uh, 
ver uh, slot. Verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High Power. Blessed are the peacemakers. You can be peaceful and make peace and still tell truth. Go ahead, I. Verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's right. All, all of these, all, <laughs> everything we done read right now is about you taking a ass whooping from God and still being good. That's, that's what this chapter is about. Still taking an ass whooping from God and your people around you, your family members, and still having to be righteous and hunger for righteousness and, and actually display and do that. Go ahead, I. Verse 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you. Yeah. People separate themselves from you. They think you're in the cult because you follow the heavenly father. And persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. That's a blessing though. That's a blessing. Read it again. Verse 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. That's right. Verse 12. Verse 12. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for... Go ahead. When, when you rejoice, you see people rejoice, they cry when they rejoice. Because cause, cause sometimes you, you, you feel so overwhelmed with, with the with the with the sorrowfulness and the gladness. You know? And, and and you rejoice. You ever seen people cry but they be happy? That's the same thing here. You 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 so feel so 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 sad, but you feel so happy. Like when someone does something for you, you feel bad because you can't do it for yourself, but they thought of you. So you rejoice for that. You feel bad, but you feel happy because somebody thought of you. Go back to your left. Verse 11. Yeah. Verse 11, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Listen to that. Read that again. <laughs> Verse 11, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Right now today, we got people out here that walk past us and judge us and talk about us and, and revile us because we doing what the, what, the, what our Lord and Savior and his disciples did. Go ahead, Doc. Verse, verse 12. Verse 12. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. Meaning that things gonna get hard. You gonna cry. You gonna complain. You gonna bitch, you gonna moan. But guess what? We still gonna smile and be happy too because we got this light. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me also say this. Jake always loved that rags to riches story. You know, this is the ultimate rags to riches right here. You know, cause we we, we ain't we ain't got shit. You know, uh, Biggie had a song. You know, it was all a dream. He used to read Word Up magazine, and then all he's talking about how you know he came from this, and you know he went to that. You know, this is this is our testimony. You know, us coming from nothing. That's right. Cause, cause, cause you gotta look at in, in, in that chapter, chapter four, the Lord was he he was gathering up his men, his his, his disciples, but and they came from nothing. They was just regular regular guys. They weren't uh, the the apostles of the Lord were not so called prestige men. They were men like us, low men. People looked down on so called uh, Israelites or Jews at that time. If you, if you weren't of a certain set of the Pharisees or the Sadducees. Or, or it was another sect they had, the uh, the the instant and the insane's, you know, uh, and then another uh, you had a, a couple other sects. Of, it, yeah, you, you had a couple sects of um, yeah, you had the Sakari, the, uh, the, the, the 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 Zealots, right? You know what I'm saying? So you had different sects, like gangs. That's Jake. That's Jake. Go uh, go on, get your precept out. And if I could say something real quick, if you read the book, uh, uh, I think it's Amos. Amos said he was. Amos said he was a herd man. He said he he was just a regular dude, basically. Why, and, why would you want me? To? Yeah, and they they sleep because we were nothing, man. Amos yeah. was like, I'm a regular, like I was a regular dude, but the word of the Lord came unto me. 
So I, I'm gonna tell you what he told me. And you, <laughs> you can you can read that in Amos Amos I think it's Amos four, and he said that. But this is uh, John John uh, fifteen and, and seventeen. These things I command you that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If if ye were of the world, and the world would would love his own. And and at the top it said that he commands us to love one another because we're the only ones that can love each other, man. Because outside of this, everyone else hates you. Word. Ultimately, everyone else outside of this truth has a has a hatred for you. That's why you're not supposed to have hatred for your brother in this truth. Because we're the only ones that can actually t talk to each other from apostle on down. We we can't communicate with these people out in the world, man. Yeah, no. They're fucking. They're out of their mind. They're they they they're loco. That's right. Uh, verse verse 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But ye but ye are not of the world, cause we're standing out on the highways and byways from Positar on down to all the brothers in camps around the world. This is this the world. You don't you don't see people out doing this, man. I didn't before I came to Truth. I didn't see nobody out on the highways and byways. See so coming to Truth, man. You see these see these men out here pushing the word of Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai, man. You get you get compelled by the spirit, man. And you realize that th that this this is another world, man. This is foolish to the world. Uh, verse, uh, but but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated hated you. Remember the words that I say unto you. So remember these, man. That now you're gonna be hated, man. That's plain and simple. Uh, the apostles are pushing that, man. You are going to be hated, and it's true. From from people that so-called claim to be in the truth. And then for people even in the world. Uh, but the Lord has chosen us, Lord willing, man. Rem uh, remember the words that I say unto you, that the servant is not greater than the Lord. If he, if, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute, persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep your sins also. But they didn't keep the Lord's sins. They, what did they do to Yahweh Shah, man? They crucified him. They put him on a cross and said, let his blood be upon our hands. Showing you how the world feels about Yahweh Shah. They put Yahweh Shah's work to be, be up to, to, to 30 shekels of silver, man. That's a damn shame, man. Our nation is, 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 is evil, man. They put the Lord and Savior up to be work to 30 shekels of silver. That, and, and, and that, that was Yahweh Shah. Imagine how they feel about us, man. These, these, they don't care. They want to see us dead. Uh, yeah, just to add to that, like you said, um, like yeah, this this is this is not a worldly thing. This is like this is different. You know, we just peacefully assembled up here, pushing the word of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, this is not like you know, like the so-called uh, Black Lives Matter movement, where you know they protesting. You know, they gotta you. Uh, you know they gotta, you know, send uh, uh, emails or something over the internet, or people gotta call up, and they gotta, you know, it's a thing where it's, it's, it's get forced. Together. You know, yeah, it's a forced get together. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You can tell that it's fake. You know what I'm saying? Community, all for real. Yeah, all that. You know, it's it's just it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You know they fired up for what a couple weeks or so, and then. All of a sudden, that shit fade out. You know what I'm it's saying? Forceful community service. Yeah, now on that, it's like, what are they saying? They ain't saying shit. You like, know what I'm why, saying? Why, they why, just why. got a chance that they say over and over and over. That's like, that's some zombie shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, who is the leader? Who are you following? The, the leaders you know are, the, are, the, are the women. Like, the yeah, they're yeah. the women. Exactly. Right. And, okay. and um, that's why that protest and shit gets you nowhere, man. Yeah. Our yeah. people are, are, they're done, man. The Lord just got to kill them. But I got what the brother called for Acts 13 and 47. For so have the Lord yet Yahushai commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of, of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. 
And when the Gentiles heard these things, they were glad and they were they were glad and, and glorified the the word of the Lord Ye Ye Yahweh by Shimei Shai. And and as many as were or Ordained, ordained to eternal life believe right so that's how we know that those are talking about Israelites yeah. like the scattered Israelites yeah. all right um, read it read it one more time uh, Acts 13 and 47 for so hath the Lord Yahweh commanded us saying I have I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles right that thou shouldest be for salvation Unto the unto the ends of the world. I right. mean, Earth. Right. right. Earth. See, so that, that's, we we supposed to be a light to all the nations and and particularly our people. How how do you do that today in this in this society where it's hard to try to lead and live a Hebrew Israelite life, and and you know you're trying to adapt to living a, being a Hebrew Israelite in in the captivity. You know it's it's hard to do that because you you gonna go off. So you can't be too hard on yourself. You have to be a light to everybody else. You can't be a burden to yourself or anybody else. You have to be a light to them. So meaning that you have to study to show thyself approved and and and, and uh, basically and not be over righteous. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I'm finishing that. Yeah, I got, I got you. If I can say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the scriptures. The scriptures say, let not your sins weigh you down, man. You, you, can't, you can't let certain things get to you, basically. But I'm going to finish this up. Uh, Acts, 13, Acts 13 and 